Hello, all you newbies and pro CSGO investors. My name is Nalo, and welcome to the best possible CSGO investing guide you're ever going to find. Now, if you're like me, you probably came to the CSGO community because you saw somebody with a pretty looking skin in game, and some switch in your brain flipped to turn you into a skin loving psychopath. Well, maybe not that last part, but regardless, you probably have some interest in CSGO skins. This video is going to teach you everything you need to know about buying those skins and having their value go super hot, so you can make money to buy even more pixels on a screen. Let's start at the beginning. At first, there was nothing. There was just an infinite cosmos. There was no markets, there were no skins, there were just people playing CSGO like a bunch of losers and not actually having any cool skins for their guns. But then, with a flash of light, he descended from above. The man we all know as Gaben. And while I could talk about this magnificent man for a long time, that'll have to wait until after today's sponsor. You see, when buying CSGO skins, you're trying to buy them for a low price, and unfortunately, Steam's prices are really high compared to something like Skinport. There's quite a lot of good reasons to use Skinport. For starters, they have a fast, smooth, and secure skin marketplace. It's made in Germany, and you can buy and sell your skins for real money. So if you want to go ahead and buy that sick Lamborghini in real life just based off your CSGO investment profits, then this is going to be a good way to cash out. They have a large selection of every skin imaginable, with over 150,000 available for purchase right right now if you want to go ahead and buy into them. And as you can see on screen, the available skins on Skinport are far cheaper than they are on Steam. You can buy these items instantly without any hidden fees. As you can see with the checkout right here, there's not going to be any sort of hidden fees or anything to show you that all up front. There's a super low selling fee as low as 6% for items over $1,000 and private listings. And when you finally get around to cashing out your CSGO inventory, it's super quick via bank transfer to your local currency. They have the highest rated marketplace with a 4.9 out of 5 star rating on Trustpilot with over 2,800 100 reviews. So if you guys want to invest at a low cost, Skinport's going to be your option. You can go ahead and check them out using the link in the description below or in the pinned comments. Thanks. So where were we? Ah, yes, Gaben. This beautiful man saw the community crying out to finally personalize their CSGO experience. So in August of 2013, he released the Arms Deal Update, which not only added a ton of really cool skins that everybody still loves to this day, but it also ascended Gaben to a level of godhood. Now, investing didn't start right away. People weren't really too excited about the prospect of spending real money on CSGO skins, and a lot of people had the same sort of consensus that it was a dumb idea to spend real money on a virtual skin that you couldn't even get real money for back. And then Bitcoin came along and everyone realized that their reservations about CSGO skins were incorrect. In reality, Bitcoin didn't really have much to do with it, but what really made people realize that skins had value was CSGO gambling. But this video is not about CSGO gambling, it's about the exact opposite, gambling in a way that doesn't actually seem like you're gambling. Or better known as investing. So- Nalo! Uh, what do you want? Investing isn't gambling, I would never stoop to that level. Well, you spend money with a level of risk and then you either make money or lose it, right? Uh, I guess. Sounds like gambling to me. But, but- Sorry, that guy's name is Deep Fry and he's basically going to be my devil's advocate for this video. Anyway, now that you know what investing basically is and where it came from, it's now time to talk about how it works. Despite many differences, investing in CSGO is very similar to the stock market. You go and find something that has a lot of factors for it rising in the future, and then you buy into it, and then eventually you hope to make money on it. You can do this in a variety of ways, either going to the same community market, or heading over to Skinport, or buying skins from some other area. Regardless, the way to start your portfolio is just to buy skins. The next step would be to track your investments so that you can see how much profit you made over time. For those of you that are rich, you can go ahead and use Microsoft Excel. But for the rest of us, there's a great free option known as Google Sheets. You can customize your spreadsheet however you want based on the skins that you have and your goals, but if you want to see an example, I have one up in my Investment Odyssey series. The next step is to simply wait for one of your factors to kick in, and then you can go ahead and have those prices skyrocket, and you can make tons of money. So yeah, it's really not that- Nalo, you can also lose tons of money. Yes, Deep Fry, that's called risk, and that's what keeps the market moving upward and downward. Without risk, you'd never be able to make any money. Oh, uh, okay. I hate this guy. Anyway, once you've purchased your skins from your preferred site, and you have your portfolio set up in a spreadsheet, the next step is to simply just wait. Unfortunately, we don't have anything like the hyperbolic time chamber from Dragon Ball, so there's no real way to speed up this process. But if you're pretty impatient, there are a few different options for you that are going to require a more short-term investment and aren't going to make you wait for so long. But I've already outlined those methods in other videos, so if you're interested, you're just going to have to watch those. If you have patience, though, and you're able to wait on your investments, then you can go ahead and do that, and then there are a lot of things you can do while you're waiting. For example, watching my other videos to give me tons of ad revenue, or you can also- Halo, you're a sellout! I put a lot of time and effort into these videos. I'm currently up at 3.44am editing this and talking to your stupid ass. 
I don't think he'll be bothering us much more for the rest of this video. Anyway, there are lots of things you can do while you're waiting. You can go ahead and finally get out of silver, or you can go ahead and finally get a rank, or you can finally go ahead and open CSGO instead of just looking at skins on your inventory, or you can do something unrelated to CSGO like watch some great family programming such as interspecies reviewers. For your own sake, I would not recommend looking that up. Anyway, once you've determined how you want to waste your time, the next step is just to waste that time. Then you can come back to your beautiful inventory full of tons and tons of profit after a massive... Uh, what? What the? This wasn't supposed to happen? How did this hap- Don't think you can get rid of me so easily. Deep Fry, how did you make me lose so much money? It's simple. After you got rid of me, I went and talked to the Dark Lord up above, and he lent me the power to make your profits crumble. Dark Lord up above? I've never heard of that. Where am I? Fool, you dare question my power. Oh right, this guy. This is the Dark Lord Gaben. He's basically the guy that you can blame every single time that your items go down in value. Wait a second, how'd you just get rid of him? That's called the power of video editing, my friend. Eh, uh, I'll be back. I seriously doubt that. But as you can see, sometimes things don't always go the way that you want them to, and that's okay. That's just how the risk works in CSGO investing. Sometimes Gaben's gonna release an update for the game that's going to crash the market, and that's kind of annoying, but that's the risk you take by going into this. Once again, without risk, there is no profit. But unfortunately, my editing software is kind of destroying itself right now under the weight of all of these pictures, and I don't want this to crash and lose all my progress, so unfortunately we're gonna have to move on to the end of this video. Luckily, there's only one other thing you really need to know, and that's how to sell the investments that you don't want anymore, or the ones that you've already hit your gold price on and have already made profit on. If you want real money, you can of course use a website like Skinports, or if you'd rather, you can always sell the item on Steam if the price is actually better than other websites. So it just kind of depends depends on which one you want to look into and all the websites that you check out, but eventually you're going to find one that gives you a good enough price, and that's the one that you can go ahead and sell it on, either for real money or for balance. Anyway, Mini Nalo's gonna go ahead and leave, and I'm gonna turn it over to the big Nalo voice in the sky for the end of this video. Alright guys, we come to the end of this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it, hopefully all my editing work did not go to waste and it actually came across pretty well. Be sure to leave a like on the video to tell me that you guys did enjoy this editing type of work and you enjoyed the characters or whatever else I added to the video. If you do have something that I could improve on or you liked something specifically about this video, be sure to leave a comment below, or you can always just join my Discord server and talk about it there. So if you guys did enjoy this video, be sure again to leave a like and subscribe to my channel for more content like this and again if you guys want to go ahead and check out skimport the links are down below anyway guys thanks for watching this video i really hope that you enjoyed it and i'll see you all next time peace so you came to the very end of the video and you still haven't clicked the like button or the subscribe button what are you doing with your life man you clearly enjoyed this video seriously please just leave a comment or a like or a subscription or something uh if you don't do that, I am going to destroy your portfolio's profits.